Hi, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we are dealing with the question of Boolean matrix. In this question, you have been provided with a matrix of dimension m cross n. You have to modify the matrix in such a fashion that if matrix cell contains one at i comma jth location, then all the cells of the ith row and jth column will become one. Let's say that we have this input matrix. So we can clearly see that we have one at these three cells. So all the rows and columns corresponding to these three cells will become one and we'll have our desired output matrix as this. Now let's see the brute force approach. In brute force approach, we are going to create two temporary arrays, one for row and the other for the column and we'll initialize them to the zero. Now we are going to iterate through each and every element and check if element present at the i comma jth index is one. If it is so, then we are going to mark the ith index in the row array and jth index in the column array as one. Now, once the iteration is complete, we begin iterating again. Now what we are going to do is we are going to take element and we'll check whether the elements row or column is marked one or not in the corresponding rows and column array. If it is so, then we are going to put aij as one. Okay. Now let's see the dry run of this brute force approach. So this is my input matrix. This is my row array. This is my column array. Now these are my row indices and these are my column indices and matrix. Now we'll start our iteration. So this is my first element, right? And it is already one. So we have to mark the zeroth index in row array and zeroth index in column array as one. So it's done now. Now this is zero, we don't have to do anything. This is again zero, move on. This is one. So since this is one, now the zeroth row will become one, which is already one, so it's done. And now the third index in column array will become one, right? Now for the next row, this is zero, this is zero, this is again one. So since this is one, now one, one index of row array will become one and two index of column array will become one. This is zero, so we do not have to do anything and these all are zero. So my all manipulation of row and column array is done. Now we have to begin iterating again and we have to check whether the row or column index is already one in row and column array. If it is so, then we are going to substitute that value as one. Now this is already one. So we do not have to do anything. Now this is zero. So we have to check whether zero is zeroth index in row array is one or zeroth second index in column array is one. So obviously I can see that the zeroth index in row array is one. So this will become one. Again, zeroth index in row array was one. So this is again one. This is already one, so we do not have to do anything. Now we are at this location. So we have to check whether the one index in row array is one or not. So one index in row array is one. Again, this will become one, this will become one, and this will become one, right? Now for the second index, we'll move and we'll see that whether the second index in row array is one. No, it is not. So we'll check for the zeroth index, whether the zeroth index in the column array is one or not. Yes, it is one. So this will become one. Now again, in this case, we have to check whether the second index in row array is one. No, we have just seen the previous step. And now we have to check for the one. So whether the one index in column array is one, no, it is not. So it will remain zero. Now in this case, we can clearly see that the second index is not one in the row, but second index in column array is one. So this will become one. And same goes for three because the third index in the column array is one. So this will become one. So we'll have our desired matrix as this. Only one element will remain zero and all other elements will become one. So this is my output matrix. Now let's see the time and space complexity of our brute force approach. So the time complexity will be M into N. Why? Because we are traversing each and every element of our 2D matrix, which is M into N. And the space complexity will be M plus N because we are creating a temporary M size array for row and N size array for column. Now let's go through the Java implementation of this approach. 
so we have our matrix as the input and the rows and column we'll be creating two temporary arrays which is row and column and now we are initializing it with zero right now we are going to traverse the each and every element and we'll check if it is equal to one then we'll just update the ith index in the row and jth index in the column with one right and now once this manipulation is done we are again iterating our elements from matrix and we are checking if the these are if the element is already zero but the ith index of that particular cell or jth index of that particular cell is equal to one if it is so then we are reinitializing it with one right now let's go with the c++ code for that now in c++ code again we have our matrix and matrix as our input array and then we are creating our temporary rows and column we are initializing our row with zero initializing our column with zero and then we are iterating each and every element checking if the element is one if it is so then we are updating our corresponding row and column index in those particular arrays and then again we will start the iteration and we will check if my element was already zero if my element was already zero then we will check for the ith index in row array and jth index in column array if any of them is one then again my cell value will be reinitialized to one now let's see the optimal approach in optimal approach we are going to avoid the extra memory by creating two temporary variables which are going to be responsible for checking whether the zeroth row or column should be set to one now once these two temporary variables are created we are going to initialize it to false now the next step we are going to iterate the first row and check if there is any one element present if it is so then we are going to set our row flag as true same we are going to do with the column now once the row flag and column flag are set we are going to do the same for the other rows and column but the twist in this case is that we are not going to mark the ith and jth element in separate row or column array rather we are going to utilize the zeroth row and zeroth column for marking these elements now how we are going to do that is we'll iterate through each and every element and check if aij is equal to 1 if it is so then we are going to mark matrix i0 and matrix z0 j as 1 again iterate through every element and check for aij if the matrix i0 or matrix 0 j is 1 we are going to set that value or set that cell as 1 now let's see the dry run of this optimal approach so this is our input matrix and we have introduced our two new variables that is row flag and column flag which is set to false initially now we are going to first iterate the zeroth row if we found 1 in the zeroth row we are going to set row flag as true so yes in the zeroth index only we have 0 0 we have the one so row flag will be set to true and again in the column flag we have to check for the entire zeroth column if there is any one then it is again going to be set to true hence this is done now we are going to iterate for the other elements other rows and columns now we'll be starting from the zero so so this since this is zero so we don't have to do anything but this is one so we'll set the zeroth column and zeroth row as one to mark that this is one right again we do not have to do anything else because every other element is zero now the iteration is done once this iteration is done we have to modify now in modification we'll check whether the cells remaining cells um have their corresponding i and j in the zero then rows and column as one or not now when we are at this particular element we can clearly see that the call a uh, row of this zeroth column is set to one right so this will become one again this is already one now this will become one this is not going to be one because this is zero zero this is going to be one and this is again going to be one because yes corresponding um co uh, row is one so hence my input array in this case will be 
वन जीरो वन 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 जीरो जीरो वन वन बट वन स्टेप इज लेफ्ट दैट इज चेकिंग वेदर द रो फ्लैग इज ट्रू और नॉट इफ रो फ्लैग इज ट्रू देन वी हैव टू यू नो सेट द इंटायर जीरो थ्रू एज वन सो दिस विल ऑल्सो बिकम वन एंड अगेन फॉर द कॉलम वी हैव टू चेक इफ देर इज इफ इट इज ट्रू देन इफ इन जीरो कॉलम इफ देर इज एनी जीरो देन इट विल इवेंचुअली बिकम वन नाउ माई फाइनल आउटपुट एरे विल बी this was actually our desired output so yes we have got an our desired output now let's see the time and space complexity of our optimal approach the time complexity is going to be m into n why because we are iterating every element in the matrix but since we are not utilizing any extra space in this implementation the space complexity will remain constant now let's see the java implementation of this optimal approach so as i told you that you have been given this input array and you have to create two temporary variables which is row flag and column flag initialized to false now we are going to iterate through each and every element and check if my i is equal equal to 0 and the element present at that particular cell is 1 and my row flag is false so we will set the row flag as true same we are going to do with the column flag right and then for the other elements we'll check if it is one then we are going to utilize our zeroth row and zeroth column and we are going to initialize or set it to one so once this iteration is complete we are going to again iterate our matrix and we are going to check that if my 0j or i0 is equal to 1 then we are going to set it to 1 and then for the zeroth row and zeroth column we are going to check for the row flag and column flag if my row flag is true then we are going to set entire zeroth row as one and if column flag is true we are going to set entire column zeroth column as one now let's see the c++ code for the same so here you have the matrix as input then bool row flag bool column flag which is set to false initially and then we are using our nested for loop to iterate each and every element and check if i is equal to 0 the ij cell is equal to 1 and the row flag is false and we are going to set row flag to true same we are doing for column flag now for the remaining elements we are going to check if the cell value is 1 so we are going to utilize the zeroth row and zeroth column and we are going to set it to 1 once this entire iteration is done and we we have marked all the rows and columns which are going to be modified then we are going to do the iteration again for each and every element and check if the 0 i or 0 j and i 0 is set to 1 if it is then we are going to put 1 in that particular cell now once this is done we are going to take notice of the row flag and column flag if row flag is set to true we are going to set the entire zeroth row as 1 and if column flag is set to true we are going to set entire zeroth column as 1 so this is how we are going to have our modified boolean matrix in m into n time complexity with constant space thank you